Primary 6 Math Rogers, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. Today I'm super excited because today we have a very simple question. And you all should get it right. Get it right, okay? There's no excuse. This is very high expectations of you. You should and you must get it right. But no worries, let's check the answer first, okay? The question was yesterday, the number of red marbles, oops, the number of red marbles was 5-7 that of yellow marbles. The number of blue marbles was two-thirds that of red marbles. Find the ratio of the number of yellow marbles to the number of blue marbles. First off, the answer is 21 is to 10. If you got it right, give yourself a high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Now, how do we do this? It's actually pretty simple. Okay, all you have to do is draw some sort of a table. Okay, this is how you start it. First off, you got your first clue. Number of red marbles. Okay, let's just write red. Was 5, 7 that of yellow marbles. So yellow here, red and yellow. And there's one more here, here is blue. Okay, so later on. Okay, let's do this first. There was 5 is to 7. That means 5 parts to 7 parts. Okay, number of blue marbles was 2 third that of red marbles. So... Two thirds. So let's put blue here. Okay. And it's actually two is to three. Oops. Two is to three. Okay. Now, the question is find the ratio of the number of yellow to blue. Okay. So what is the ratio of this? Let me just use a different color. Yellow. What's the ratio of this to this? Now, as you can see, it's actually different numbers. But one thing that is the same is the red. So red's 5 units here and red 3 units here are actually what? They are actually the same. So all we have to do is find the lowest common multiple. Now what the heck is that? <laughs> lowest common multiple. Don't get scared. It basically means uh, what is the lowest multiple. In other words, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15. And 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is... So come on, help me out. 6. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, good job. Alright? So here, as you can see, the numbers are actually, all you have to do is times 3 here and times 5 here. And whatever you times here, you must also times on this side. So times 3 here and times 5 here. So all you have to do, if you were to redo this whole thing again, it will look a little something like this. 2 times 5, 10. Um, 3 times 5, 15. 5 times 3? 15. Correct. And hence, the last one is 7 times 3, which is 21. So the question, the question was asking for the ratio of the number of yellow marbles to blue marbles. And hence, the answer is 21 is to 10. Alright? And that's the answer. Easy peasy. Alright? Give yourself a high five. You are a math priority. Good job. Okay. So now that we have a breather from all that difficult questions, I'm going to give you one that's slightly more difficult today. Okay? Ah, oh, I know what you're thinking. Such a long question. All of you, brief. Brief. Okay, village A has two-fifths as many people as village B. Simple. One question. Just one clue. Now, next step. The ratio of the population of village C to that of village A is 4 is to 7. Wait, is that the same as 4 over 7? Yes, it's the same. Okay, so the question so far is the same as previous question. So definitely, I know you can do this. All right, good job. Now, village B has 5,400 more people than village C. Ah, bigger clue. So, A, what is the population of village C? Simple. And B, how many people must move from village A to village C so that both villages have the same population? In other words, the, in other words, the, what's that called? The ratio is 1 is to 1. Yeah? So, answer is, is okay, I'm not going to give you the answer now, but, I mean, I can do this in like one minute. Can you do, can you do it in one minute? If you can't, well, you know what? I'm a, big, I'm a bigger math prodigy. <laughs> so, with that, that is the question for the day. Do this question now. Make sure you got it right. And remember, the quote of the week is victory loves preparation. What does it mean? It means the more you prepare, the easier it is for you to get victory. Okay? So give yourself a high five. This is Coach Sai for signing out. You are a math prodigy. Good job.